All right, everyone, the uh, flag of empire is once again flying in the breeze because it's uh, time for a little bit of conquest. I have a little bit of a bone to pick with the uh, developers and moderators of Vidme, and I need your help to conquer their site, become the number one creator there. I'm apparently number four already, and only a few thousand followers behind people like Computing Forever. I think he got there early on, dragged a huge proportion of his audience there, so he's number one. I like his content, by the way. Kudos to him for making continuously decent content, especially on like tech free speech. Really good stuff. You should follow him too. Uh, but I'm asking for a, an army of, of subscribers here to help charge into the fray and change the minds of Vidme. Here's my thing. Uh, consider it from my point of view and then I'll go into what actually happened why I'm making this video. And this is an exclusive for YouTube. From my mind, if YouTube has no significant competition in any real sense from any other video hosting site, there's no pressure on them to really care about any individual creator beyond the money that they can make from them. Which means that, of course, if they don't like your kind of content or a class of content, they're not going to think too much about shoving you to the side, demoting your content, kicking you off YouTube. Now, I don't worry about that because my stuff mostly is innocuous anyway. Like, who cares if I talk about occult books? YouTube's not going to care. Um, but here's the problem. What happened is I got a message from one of the moderators on Vidme. Now, preface to this is that the news and politics category, and I think this is a huge strategic blunder holding Vidme back, is blocked from, from trending, going to the hot page on Vidme itself. That is, even if it's more popular than most of the videos that are there that are on trending, it's never going to get there because it's in the wrong category. I get a message saying I'd miscategorized several videos as brain food uh, when they should have gone under news and politics and threatening to unverify me if I continued. Now, unverification means... Uh, I would have a capped file size and length limit on my uploads in a certain amount per day, which means I wouldn't be able to use Vidme. I do long form content. One, one file alone would take up the data uh, storage amount probably. I'd have to cut that in half in order to make it fit the length requirements. And it'd be pointless. And they're saying this to me, apparently one of their top 10 creators. So I have a little bit of a problem with that. The real problem, though, is that the, the category system isn't even fully made clear. And I'm, I've made a video, link in the description, you should go there. Once you're on there, you should upvote it if you're joining Vidme. And there is good content on Vidme. I have no problem with the platform itself. It's pretty good. Uh, my, in my video, I explain, well, if it, if it fits under multiple categories, why would I be threatened with unverification for putting it under the one that wasn't automatically demoted off of trending? Like, they, like, otherwise, I'm just talking to an echo chamber with all of my content. Because everyone that's there following me is either solely interested already in politics, and then Vidme, because it demotes that content, it's not advertising it to the outside world at all. So that's a small audience. Or it's people who already follow me. I want them to stop doing this. I think it's a bad idea from a marketing standpoint. And seeing Vidme grow would be a good thing. It benefits me. It benefits everyone using the platform, and it provides a more stable competitor to YouTube that maybe they start keeping in mind, oh, yeah, we probably shouldn't piss off large swaths of people. They should keep the changes more mundane, be more fair, so that people don't potentially go to another platform that might actually be economically viable. That's my reason for it. So if you support, I mean, you might not even really care about Vidme, you should still be supporting uh, its existence enough to care about its categorization system. In a roundabout way, it affects uh, the wider video hosting of the internet at large. The same is true with all the other prior sites that tried to be YouTube alternatives. They all make the same mistakes over time. They become paid only, or they stop allowing uploads. They have some fiscal problem. Vidme hasn't had those problems yet, apparently. They raised a lot of money. Their problem is they're holding themselves back. Well, it's about time we break that bottleneck, and I think that we can do it with a concerted effort. We need more people to speak out. And I would also like to say, anyone else, you're already on Vidme, you should make a video against it too. Yeah, come join me. Let's, let's conquest. It's, uh, I want to get to number one on there. Just for uh, ego's sake alone, it'd be funny. Even if it's only for a while. Just to be the top content creator on uh, what is now at least a second tier video platform. It's up there with Vimeo or Daily Motion. It's, it's gone already beyond a lot of the more minor sites. It's already more stable and, and more used than any of those. It's up there with these larger YouTube alternatives. Some of which it took them 10 years to get that size. That's really good. But that growth will eventually stall out if they keep discriminating against the political content. So I want your help in changing their minds. Also, I mean, the larger the channel is, the less likely it is they'll unverify it. I like having a second place to upload. I could pay 
Vimeo to upload a bunch of content. But Vidme is free and, and should remain free. I mean, they're capable of funding it. It's not that difficult. Um, a lot of these sites, they just, uh, they overextend, I think. They, they overestimate how popular they'll be. They make too much of an investment. They fall flat. Then they have to recoup and they start jettisoning people. They either die out or they stagnate, something like that. They have this continuous problem. Uh, it would be nice if Vidme took up more of the approach of Gab. That is more pro-liberty uh, as sort of the alternative to the lame stream content that's getting promulgated even here on YouTube. You know, when's the last time you saw, uh, you know, Molyneux trending on YouTube? You probably haven't recently, but you've seen CNN there. A video that has 1 100th the actual views on it and gets massively downvoted goes to trending. A video that's much more well-received with a huge audience behind it that's watched it and shared around and goes totally viral never actually gets there. It's the opposite of common sense. So we need to change their minds. So I'm asking for a little bit of imperialism uh, on Vidme here. Oh, it's a th it'd be so funny. Try to see their reactions. That's about all. Peace out.